Yo guys, what's going on? Okay. Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this amazing Mirage DPS build. Now, I was the one that found this build. Uh, two people from my Twitch actually was the one that showed me this. That was Zada Warlock and also Carnage Flash. What well, big thank you for showing me this build. It was absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to. And uh, yeah, so big thank you to them two people for showing me this build. So for starters, I did change up a little just for Steel Path, but it is still really, really good. So for starters, we have Energy Siphon on here. This is just so we can get our energy quite quick because you're going to be using your abilities quite often. So uh, yeah, you're going to be using your abilities quite often. Next is Overextended, so we can have the maximum amount of range that we can because you want to have a nice amount of range. Uh, next we've got Transit Fortitude, we have Transit Fortitude on here so we can have a very nice amount of ability strength. Duration doesn't really matter to be honest, so yeah, definitely want this on here for ability strength. Next we've got Blind Rage for our strength, this is basically just so we can have, again, maximum amount of strength. Now this is what I put on, I put on Rolling Guard just because of like the shield gating system, I always have like the decaying uh, Dragon Key and I always basically just mess about with shield gating because it's really hard for you to die once you get the hang of it. Uh, next, I've got Nano Miner. Does so our duration isn't super low because if we take that off, for example, 13% duration, that is a no no. That is not good because, yeah, 17.5 drain a second on our fourth. Next, we've got Explosive Liga the main. I probably butchered that name, butchered that up, but basically, this is an argument for the sleight of hand. Uh, ammo and orbs. All pickups are turned into proximity mines that deal 500 damage with a 100% status chance. So you're going to get some more extra damage right there with some different random statuses. Next we've got Fleet and Expertise to keep our efficiency up because obviously Blind Rage is going to make our efficiency go down by 55%. But then this is going to give us our efficiency back up 60, giving us 105% efficiency. So I'm going to go over the abilities on Mirage. Right, I just want to quickly pause the video and say if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It takes two seconds of your day. And while you're down there, hit that like button as well. It helps me out a ton. And uh, yeah, let's get straight back to the video. Next, we've got Blind Rage for our strength. This is basically just so we can have, again, maximum amount of strength. Now, this is what I put on. I put on Rolling Guard just because of like the shield gating system. I always have like the decaying uh, Dragon Key and I always basically just mess about with shield gating because it's really hard for you to die once you get the hang of it. Uh, next, I've got Nano Miner. Does so our duration isn't super low because if we take that off, for example, 13% duration, that is a no no. That is not good because, yeah, 17.5 drain a second on our fourth. Next, we've got Explosive Liga, Liga de Main. I probably butchered that name, butchered that up, but basically, this is an argument for the sleight of hand. Uh, ammo and orbs. All pickups are turned into proximity mines that deal 500 damage with a 100% status chance. So you're going to get some more extra damage right there with some different random statuses. Next we've got Fleet and Expertise to keep our efficiency up because obviously Blind Rage is going to make our efficiency go down by 55%. But then this is going to give us our efficiency back up 60, giving us 105% efficiency. So I'm going to go over the abilities on Mirage and yeah. So for starters, we have a Hall of Mirrors. Hall of Mirrors, basically, what this does is Mirage creates an interage of dupl duplicates to confuse and distract enemies. This can increase damage as well because each duplicate can deal damage to an enemy. So yeah, really good. It also helps you surviving as well. So you want to always have this up because it helps you survive quite a bit. Next, we've got Sleight of Hand. This basically booby traps nearby objects while uh, conjuring and Yo, why does he always use big words? Basically what this does is it just sets booby traps on the floor and yeah, you can change with the augment, you can basically ammo drops, all that can turn to a booby trap. So really, really good one to have. Next we've got Eclipse, this is really simple. This gives us damage increase and damage reduction. So when you are in the light, I believe you get damage increase. When you're in the darkness, you get damage reduction. Standing in light, Mirage deals heavy damage while in the shadows makes Mirage difficult to track and even harder to hurt. So yeah, 
you get damage reduction when in the dark and you'll see the differences when in the top right when you've got 388% just know that's damage increased not damage reduction uh, really simple there next is Mirage's Prism now this does insane amount of damage you saw by the start of the video this was shredding steel path enemies so this basically what this is is fires an energy prism that shoots lasers and in all directions activating again detonates the prism blinding nearby foes now basically what this is really good because when you throw this out it does drain your energy a second but you could just cancel that out if you really need to like you killed all the crowd you just cancel it out so yeah this does a total of 485 radiation damage but it does a lot more damage than a 485 it can wipe now this is 485 but you could wipe them easy it's really really good so yeah that's basically it on the mirage build is really really good uh, next video i'm probably going to have a, a leveling guide on how you can level up really good with basically just leveling up your weapons warframes all that and uh, yeah make sure you go check out my twitch and discord link is in the description down below on our twitch we do giveaways we have a system basically where you can get points for watching the stream and get a bunch of stuff like warframe sets uh, platinum all that so if you want to come and check out in the description down below so yeah see you guys later peace out